gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road Today we are actually meeting at our local library and this is something that we're trying new for this year. Um, Luke and I have booked one of the meeting spaces here to sit down and plan out our 2024 family goals, just even Camp David adventure goals. And our goal for this meeting today is to sit down and really discuss things throughout this next year. Um, some of the things that we're going to talk about is travel, um, just even personal businesses that we're wanting to start, even how Camp David Adventures, the YouTube channel, and where we want that to go. We're also going to meet with each one of the kids individually to discuss their goals um, as well. So we are looking forward to a really fun day, just being able to sit down and plan out this next year and set some goals for ourselves. been such a productive day here. We have been able to talk about friends, business, family, travel, all of the things. And it was really great to be able to sit down and talk with Kenya. We haven't been able to sit down and talk with Lincoln yet because he had to work this morning, but we are actually getting ready to go pick him up from work and we're going to head home and have the same conversation that we were able to have with Kenya and ask him the same questions and help him get his plan set out too. I am so glad that Luke and I took this time to set aside and we actually planned it at a different location. And I encourage you guys to do this together as a family or even as a couple. Set some time aside, go to your local library, find a place to meet and really just sit down and talk about an agenda for what you guys are hoping to achieve in the upcoming year. And um, Luke and I did talk and we're actually going to set up another meeting um, probably I would say in March to just look over everything that we had discussed today, see where things are at and um, keep moving forward. So we're gonna make this almost probably a quarterly meeting and I'm really already looking forward to next year, seeing what goals that we're able to achieve. It was a fun day. I had a lot of fun. It was a good meeting with you, but you might, it might seem silly like to actually like set up a meeting with family, because that's usually what we do in work <laughs> settings. But I will tell you, uh, this is a newer thing for us, but I wish we started this 10 years yeah. ago. Um, it forces you to talk about things that you wouldn't normally talk about in day-to-day -day conversation, but also it makes you um, spend intentional time talking about future plans. Mm -hmm. And the, there are so many things that came up today that we would have never talked about. And I'm so, so glad we did it. So yeah. like Jill said, I think, I think we might do this every quarter and just kind of calibrate as we go throughout the year. Um, it was also a lot of fun bringing Kenya in. I wish we had Lincoln here today. He had to work, but um, bringing Kenya in because I sent her um, or I told her about it ahead of time and I, and she came very prepared. She came in and yeah. she had her list of things and mm -hmm. notes that she had thought through already. So it was very, uh, it was very good to see her think through it ahead of time. And then, of course, we brought up things that challenged her. I mean, we talked about spiritual life. We talked about, like Jill said, friends, family, money, the big topic, you know, planning money, budgeting, all that kind of stuff. So just so many different things um, that we're looking forward to in 2024. And now we are more aligned as a family yes. and as couple as a couple because of this conversation. So, yeah. so glad we did it and looking forward to doing it some more. I am too. So 
for today's episode, we have a couple of things going on. We are getting ready for another one of Kenya's national anthem performances. She is getting ready to go down to the Denver Coliseum and sing the national anthem for the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo. So she is upstairs getting ready for that. And so before we go, I thought it would be fun to make some homemade hummus for us to have as a great snack when we get home from the event. So I thought I would take you along today, share the recipe that I have, and hopefully you guys can try this for a quick snack at home. So for today's recipe, the one reason why I'm so excited about it is I'm gonna actually get to use one of my favorite tools. Luke actually got this for me this year at, um, for Christmas, and it is a KitchenAid um, food processor. But the reason why I like it so much is it is not a huge food processor. It's smaller than your average food processor, and I love just how accessible it is to do quick, smaller recipes rather than for something like this that I'm just gonna make hummus that I can, I don't have to take out this huge clunky food processor that has all these parts. So I wanted to just show this to you guys. It's a KitchenAid. Uh, I will include a link to it down below in the description if you're interested. One of the things that I love about hummus, guys, is it is a healthy snack. You can eat it with fresh vegetables. You can put it on a sandwich. You can also just have some fresh naan laying around or pita bread and use it for that. So I love the fact that it's healthy, but it's a quick snack that um, the kids can grab on the go or they can just grab out of the fridge really quick. It keeps really easily and you can just do so many things with it. So let's go over the ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe. The first thing that you will need is one can, and it's a 15 ounce can, of chickpeas or garbanzo beans that they're also known as. And for these you can either choose to go ahead and um, peel the shells off of them or you can just go ahead and keep them on. I'll talk more about that at the end of the recipe. The other thing that you'll want to reserve some of is the liquid in the chickpeas can but you do want to fully drain them but as reserve some of the liquid in the can and we'll talk more about this later. We'll need a fourth cup of fresh lemon juice and then this is really the key ingredient uh, to this recipe. It is tahini. So you'll need a fourth cup of that as well. We'll need one to two small cloves of garlic minced. You'll need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a fourth teaspoon of ground cumin, and then just salt for seasoning to taste. So the first step that we're gonna do is go ahead and combine the uh, lemon juice and tahini in the um, food processor. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix these two ingredients for about one minute. And what I love about this is it has two settings on here. This is either puree or you can switch it over to chop. We're gonna go ahead and do the puree option. And the easy thing about this is all you have to do is touch the top. I love this. All right, so we've let it um, mix for about one minute and it just kind of really helps get that tahini to smooth out and make it really light and fluffy. The next step is we're gonna add your olive oil, minced garlic, cumin, and a half teaspoon of salt to this mixture and we're gonna process it for 30 seconds and then you'll go ahead and scrape down the sides of your processor and uh, let it mix for another 30 seconds. The next step is to add the chickpeas. So what we're gonna do is only add half of the chickpeas. Go ahead and let it mix in the processor for about 30 seconds, and then we'll scrape down the sides and add the rest of the chickpeas and process for about 30 to 45 seconds after that.
actually went ahead and let this mix for about one to two minutes. So I would change that. I know I said earlier just 45 seconds, but definitely give it some time to mix and you will start to see it smooth out. However, you'll still see that um, the hummus is still pretty thick and we can still see some chunks in there. Um, it's not too bad. It looks pretty smooth. And this is where that leftover chickpea liquid that I told you to set aside is going to come in. Okay, this is where I learned something. Rather than calling it leftover chickpea liquid, it's actually called aquafaba and yes it has a name and what aquafaba is is the leftover liquid from a can of chickpeas and it actually can really help your hummus so we had just talked about the hummus still seems like it's a little too thick and even though we have been letting it mix in the processor for one to two minutes we can't get seem to get those small granules out well this is where aquafaba comes in so you're going to take one to two tablespoons of that aqua faba and add it into our chickpea mixture right now to help smooth it out, make it creamier and just fluffier. Now, if you forgot to go ahead and reserve that liquid when you were draining your chickpeas, no worries. They have also said that just using one to two tablespoons of water works just as well. So I've let this mix for about one to two minutes. We're gonna check on it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and add one more tablespoon of the aquafaba just to keep smoothing out this hummus. All right. And this actually, the consistency that I have right now looks really good. And all that you need to do is just keep adding that aquafaba or water until you reach the desired consistency. And once again, adjust to taste if you need. If you need to add a little bit more salt, you can. But I'm really happy with this consistency. I'm gonna go ahead and store this in the fridge and have it ready for us when we get home. I love how simple and easy it is to go ahead and make your own homemade hummus. It's just a few ingredients, just a couple minutes of your time, and you have a really delicious snack for you and the whole family to enjoy. Once you guys are ready to eat it, there are so many different variations that you can do. You can put it in the bowl and you can go ahead and drizzle some more olive oil just on the top for extra flavor. You can sprinkle it with smoked paprika. You can go ahead and add some minced garlic to the top of it. There are so many different combinations that you can do. I just love the versatility of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. We are going to go ahead and get ready um, to get Kenya to her event to sing. We thought we'd bring you guys along for that. And then later in the video, we'll get everybody's take on our homemade hummus. We went to Kenya's event uh, the other night and unfortunately when we got home we were all so tired we didn't try the hummus. So we are now the next day. We are getting ready to go to Lincoln's basketball banquet and um, that's just where they hand out awards for the year and they just appreciate the coaches and the players and stuff like that. But before we head out the door to that, I wanted to have the family try the hummus and let them tell you their thoughts. All right, we have the three, they look guilty, people that are gonna try my hummus here. I wanna go first. No! I can wait. I can't wait. I've never had homemade hummus. It's always <laughs> from a store, a grocery store, so I'm very excited. If you can make this well, then you know we're gonna want it all the time, right? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Stop it! It's better than any store-bought, or I'm gonna double dip. <laughs> no! Mmm, fine. No! Mmm, ah, that is really good. Mm. I'm gonna triple dip. Mm. Okay, That's well good. you guys tore into it so fast. Um, mm. I was supposed to drizzle more olive oil on top and sprinkle some paprika. Doesn't even need it. No? It's no. so good. Mm -mm. Lincoln, do you like it? That's good. Lincoln's kind of like, does Mikey like it? Oh. Does anybody know that? No. I've never heard of that. What are you talking about? The Life cereal. Never heard of it. Where the kids wouldn't eat it. Hmm. Homemade hummus. Great. That's amazing. Man, you guys tore into that. Rice cake is another thing no. you can dip in it. Give it to me. No! Stop. 
I love rice cakes. I am eating it with cauliflower. Mmm. It's really good. I'm impressed. Was it hard to make? No, it's so easy. You make it all the time. Oh yeah. You're gonna need to make a batch like every day. All right, well there you have it. They like the homemade hummus. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe I shared with you today and share it with your family. Let us know your thoughts in the description down below. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>